Hello, this is Pavel from Ronquiz, and this tutorial is step-by-step -step, um, demonstration of uh, how to set up a warm-up automation process. The summary. So we're going to set up the process to post initial set of posts on new blocks and automatically move warmed up blocks to another network. Objectives. Why do we need to set up warm up process? So first of all, it's to reduce suspension rate. All Web2 platforms have um, anti-spam policy and uh, they specifically thrown upon the blogs that start posting content that heavy on links, especially with the combination of uh, affiliate content. By posting simple content, quote unquote simple content, um, it is um, relatively short content, some even somewhat related to your niche, but more generic, no links, no heavy media, might be images. And if we're, we're going to pause the simple content for several days. So we're going to get block indexed. One of the advantage of Web2 uh, sites is that they are extremely well um, they have extremely uh, good uh, on page SEO so naturally lots of those blocks will be indexed uh, in seven days we also will enable all functionality of run quiz that uh, helps to increase indexing as a part of the process, unfortunately, there will be bad and suspended blogs, and we will be cleaning up uh, those blogs out of network. And at the end, we'll move warmed up blogs to another network. Here are the steps. So we'll create a project or use existing project. So we'll create a warm up network, create a ready network and add blocks to a warm-up network. Um, those names of the block is just examples only. You can use your any old, uh, your own names. But uh, in essence, this is the blocks. And this is where we start the process and, to, and this is where we uh, all blocks will end up ready network. We will set up, um, we will configure all everything in the warm up network. I'll go back to this later. So we'll just set up, uh, we'll go step by step how we configure warm up network. And we start, we will create a start submission in warm up network to post on blogs. Now we'll like, explain the same using diagram for those of you who prefer more of the visual representation of the same process. So let's say we have a project and we'll create a warm up network and the ready network. So we will add all new blocks to warm up network. So we'll set up criteria to move blocks that reach number of posts to ready network automatically. So I'm going to use for this demo six posts, but you can vary based on your own criteria. In our example, it will be six posts. And we will set up a process to clean up bed blocks in the, during the process. And we will be posting simple, again, quote unquote, simple content once a day on each blog. So advantage of this process is that not only once we create a new project, we can warm up all our blogs and get them ready uh, for, uh, for ACO, but also is that once you set up this process, you can use it later. Let's say uh, you have existing project and you have uh, hundreds and hundreds of blogs that are already uh, pretty decent authority and you already posted links and you decided to add more blocks in the project. Instead of messing it up with uh, mixing them up in the, in the same network where you already have established blocks, you'll go through the same process. You add new set of blogs to the warm-up network and because you already have 
all of this process setup will kick in automatically. System will start posting on those blocks, cleaning them up, and once they reach six, six posts, they will be moved automatically to Ready Network. And now I'll log in in my Bronquist account and I'll demonstrate how to set up it in actual account. Go to the projects. As I said, you can use any of your existing projects or create a new project. I'm going to create a new project. I'll give it a name, tutorial. Of course, you'll give in the real uh, use case, you'll give the project more meaningful name that is reflect either your client or site you promote. Or... So I'll create a network within the project. I'll create a network and I'll put it at the lowest tier, tier four. I'll call it warm up. It is Web2 network called warm up and we're placing it in the tier four. Here's a new network and we create another network and we'll place it in a tier three. Call it ready. So next I'm going to add blocks to a warm up network. As you can see, I added a hundred blocks to my account. You can use either account store. You can use account creator. You can add your own blocks, so I'm not going to cover it in this tutorial. But once you have your blocks, you add them to your warm up account or warm up network. Those blocks it's brand new. They have no posts and we're not going to post any links in them until they indexed and have several posts. In our case, it will be six posts. And our goal to have them either clean up if they bad or move them up to a ready network. At this moment, we accomplished those steps. We created a project. We created a warm up network. We created a ready network and we added blocks to warm up network. Our next step will be configure warm up network. We will enable auto maintenance, auto cleanup. We will enable bulk indexing, enable traffic simulation, and enable and create and enable authority move data pipe. And we'll go to warm up network and click on settings. First, we're going to do is to um, enable auto maintenance. You can see it's disabled. And we'll click on auto cleanup settings, enable auto cleanup, and all bad accounts I choose to delete. As an alternative option, you have to you have an option to move them in some other network where you can manually review them and see if they could or might be false positive marked as error. In a simple case, I use them all, mark them all as delete. This process runs automatically once a day as soon as the system will uh, and as system will be marking uh, blocks as bad, suspended, invalid, um, they will be automatically cleaned up from the system. Next, we're going to enable uh, built in uh, bulk indexing. Bulk indexing is um, Runquist supports um, five services, bulk in services, and uh, if you are in the pro and plus pro and agency accounts, you have you, you can uh, use uh, built in accounts. Enable or if you want to use your own accounts or you're on the wizard plan where you can, can't use uh, built in accounts, you can enable your own accounts. 
if you're using your own accounts you need to add them in tools integration this is all index and services so I'm gonna use built-in accounts and I enable bulk indexing I'm gonna enable traffic simulation in my experience it is extremely helpful in um, improving indexing and um, it's really hard to prove but I suspect that it also uh, improves the uh, survival rate for blogs um, how it works well, just very briefly our bots are coming to once a post is created our bots are coming visiting posts stay for a while and click out mm, on other links um, and if those uh, posts are created as a second tier not only they visit the page stay there but also find the link on the page and click it out and go to the upper tier practically all web2 blogs uh, blog uh, web2 uh, platform have um, Google Analytics installed so so we don't need to make an extra effort to let Google know that there is activity on those specific uh, pages and the last we're going to enable uh, authority pipe authority move data pipe this is in automation section you click new data pipe select authority move and you can have all various criteria you can set up uh, how you select blogs that you want to move in our case we're going to say number of posts greater than or equal to six we're going to move those blocks in ready network again uh, this process runs automatically once a day and will pick up all blocks with the number of posts greater than six and moving up to the ready network at this moment we completed following steps in warm-up network we enabled auto cleanup it is in auto maintenance section we enabled bulk indexing, traffic simulation, and created authority move pi data pipe that will uh, move blocks that uh, meet our criteria up to the uh, ready network. And as a last set of steps, we need to set up posting to make sure all those blocks will have a um, number of posts so a system can uh, move them up to the ready network one optional step is uh, whether you decide to create your own content bucket or you're going to use a shared uh, built-in content bucket so then we'll create submission and to post the content and we'll set it up to post once a day on every blog and we'll repeat it every day so essentially system will continuously posting once a day on every blog and in combination with the authority move data pipe that will be moving um, blocks out to the ready network that will complete the process of automation of uh, blocks warming up Toward this step, creating a content bucket your own or use uh, built-in. If you check built-in buckets and you find anything that is uh, somewhat related to your niche, I would advise you to step on, uh, uh, skip on step of creating your own bucket um, and uh, post preset content. If you have a preference, you create your own bucket and you post uh, and you create your own content. That could be if you use your own uh, articles or you might have some specific niche that not even closely covered with our preset content buckets. 
I'm switching it's a, it's a warm-up network I'll switch on the submissions tab in my case I'm gonna use a preset content bucket I click on create post submission so steps are I'll give it a name warm-up submission I will use preset content if you use your own content you select the bucket you have or if you find the bucket that somewhat related to your niche and as I said at this moment you don't need to be very very targeted related to your niche it is the the point was to uh, uh, set up initial set of uh, posts and it's nice to have them somewhat related to your niche but doesn't it's not required that is to be very very laser targeted so let's say health dental care if it's un somewhat related to dentistry so I'm gonna post to all blocks in the network default block selection you can use either so for this purpose so we'll keep it randomized and we'll set number of posts one post on each blog so essentially it's just I'm telling the system to post once on every blog there's no need to spread posts because we don't post links although you can use spreading and I will set up to repeat this process every day so once again so I'm gonna post preset content once on every blog and it will be repeated every day and if I wouldn't have the authority move data pipe that's uh, that submission will be posting forever on those blogs but because the authority move data pipe will be moving blogs out eventually and roughly in seven days there will be no blocks in the network and submission will be paused if let's say later on in months or so you will decide to add new blocks to warm up network it will automatically pick up and it will continue the same process and it will set new set of blocks warmed up and move to the ready network link settings so we don't set up any links and we don't set up any automation rules save it So once I created submission, you can see the details, warm-up submission, the post preset uh, dental care content. We'll make one post on every blog and we'll repeat it every day. And I will activate it. You can see that system set to scheduling, active. And um, at this moment we completed following steps we created we didn't create a content bucket but you can choose two and we created submission in warm-up network set up to post once a day on every blog and started it and again to show it in the diagram so we created the project we created a warm-up network ready network we added new blogs in the warm-up network we set up cleanup or auto cleanup we set up data pipe to move blogs with six posts to the ready network we use uh, preset content created submission and will post simple content once a day on each blog and that will be repeated daily again if later on you decide to add more blogs to your project you again go through the same process so we don't we don't show any other networks where you're going to be doing your ICO but you will keep those two and once you have new set of blocks you will add them in the warm-up process and we'll kick in again and we'll just move uh, blocks through the same step automatically